guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, recently I went to Melbourne, which you would have seen last week for my vlog. I haven't uploaded it yet, but you'll see that soon. Um, and I was re-diagnosed with a sonophilic fasciitis. I'll put some links and descriptions in the description box below, but it's a lot rarer than scleroderma, which is what I was diagnosed with before. And I got put on prednisolone for a couple of months. And I thought I would document at least my first week about it. So yeah, um, I'm currently on day two. Day one, I don't think I felt much effect. I was still dealing with my fibro flare and slept most of the day as I did somewhat today. I slept until 12 p.m. and yesterday I slept until two. Um, today I woke up and I had like no appetite whatsoever. I still don't really have one, but I'm eating because that's important when you're taking a lot of medication. I am up to 11 or 12 tablets a day at the moment, um, so that's fun. Um, so today I had no appetite. Um, I was dealing with a lot of brain fog, but I'm not sure if that's the pred or not. Oh, you better not do that. Wait. No. Cats. Yeah, you can scratch the lounge, but not the speaker. And I already have, like, a moon face thing going on because of another med that I take. Like, it's not as though I have a fat face. It's just... It's just a bit extra, which you can sort of see. Which I know was because of one of the meds I take, because I started it and then my face just... Yeah, it happens. <laughs> but yeah, I... I looked at the side effects for Pred and I'd said that you'll possibly gain weight because of holding on to water, but I wasn't drinking much and I was emptying my bladder a lot. <laughs> so... Yeah, so, possible brain fog. Oh, I can't. Possible brain fog. There's also nausea. I don't even know what I was talking about. Brain fog, nausea. No appetite. Mm, coffee's wearing off, but I'll figure it out later and I guess I will update you guys or you'll see day three. Bye! It's now about 11.30 at night and I'm so itchy. I have no idea if it has to do with the prednisolone or not, but I'm having a bath because I'm not going to be able to sleep like this. just had a shower and some coffee. The fatigue today was not as bad. I'm slightly constipated but I think I'm okay now. I think I noticed a bit of facial swelling like just up here but I think I had an allergic reaction to some face paint I was wearing the other night when I was out clubbing which will be in a, a vlog eventually. I've just got so much work to do. Um, so yeah, the coffee I think has kicked in now. Um, I've got to do some washing and some dishes. And then I'm going to put up my vlog from... Hello! What are you doing? I don't know what you want. Yeah, I'm going to get some stuff done, upload vlogs and hopefully upload the moonshots I took the other day. Update you guys later if anything else happens. It's almost day five of prednisolone, but um, I'm just updating before day four ends. Um, because today was the first day of TAFE and that was really awesome. I actually woke up with no pain and hardly any fatigue. Like I just felt like normal tired when I woke up at eight this morning. So that's really good. 
um, and uh, TMI, um, not constipated at the moment. <laughs> so that fixed itself, I felt quite sick today, but that's okay. But um, I'll update you guys tomorrow at some point to let you know how day five is going. So I just finished day five and I think we've just gone on to day six of prednisolone. I've felt kind of sick the last couple of days, but nothing I haven't dealt with before. Fatigue's still pretty good, but I'm having trouble sleeping. But I did watch some scary movies the other night, so that's probably my own fault. <laughs> um, it's now Valentine's Day. This is the first time I've been single for Valentine's Day in a long time, for as long as I can remember. But I'm okay. <laughs> And I'll update you guys later today, day six. Six, and I haven't been out the sun, but yay. I asked a friend who's been on it before or something similar and oh my God. I haven't been out the sun, I swear. I've been inside like all day and just, I felt it a lot last night too. So I had a bath and just thought that I was normally overheating like I always do, but not this time. Oh, sorry, that was my hip. <laughs> they do that. If you don't know that about me, my hips, my knees and my ankles crack a lot as well, but that's normal for me. So I'll update you guys tomorrow on, what is it, day seven. Cats. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And so I usually have three appetite modes. I usually am either not hungry, which is hardly often, hardly ever. And then a lot of the time I overeat. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll just eat normally. Whereas when I'm on prednis alone, <laughs> when I'm on prednis alone, Majority of the time, I'm not hungry. I have no appetite. Um, about two times this week, no, one time this week, I think I overate. And then majority of the time, then some of the time I just eat normally. But majority of the time, I was not hungry at all. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I've been having coffee a lot lately and today I haven't, so I slept about 12 hours and wake up at 12.30 this afternoon. And hopefully tomorrow I will find out if anything else goes wrong because I will be I will be tapering off from 10 mg to 7.5 mg, 7 mg of prednisolone. I don't remember if it's micrograms or milligrams or what, but yeah, I'll update you guys later. Finish having breakfast. We've got apple and mango juice there and a ham and cheese sandwich, which I sometimes have for breakfast. And then I'm tapering down from 10 to 7.5 today. I've been feeling really, really cold for some reason. It was about 13 degrees this morning when I felt cold, but I felt a lot colder than that. <laughs> so I've been having hot flashes and bits of cold ones, which is really weird. I swear my face has got puffier. Bye.